This is Nathan from Station X. I'm going to talk now about Kaspersky Labs antivirus and whether or not we should stop using it. To give you some background, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, has issued a directive, first reported by the Washington Post, calling on departments and agencies to identify any use of Kaspersky antivirus software and develop plans to remove them and replace them with alternatives within the next three months. The DHS made this statement. The department is concerned about the ties between certain Kaspersky officials and Russian intelligence and other government agencies and requirements under Russian law that allow Russian intelligence agencies to request or compel assistance from Kaspersky and to intercept communications transiting Russian networks. Some of you will be aware that on my The Complete Cybersecurity course, I discuss some of the great features in Kaspersky Antivirus and go as far as saying it's a good product. But I also warn that you need to be aware of the Russian connection and what that could possibly mean. Nothing really has changed for me based on the DHS statement. All antivirus is a target for potential backdooring and one such as Kaspersky connected to Russia as a higher potential risk from the Russian government are being diddled with as I state on the course. So should you use Kaspersky antivirus given the US government's worries? Well, you have to think about your threat model. Your decision should be based on your threat model. What are your adversaries and threats? If You're the U.S. government, for example. Should you have been using Kaspersky in the first place? No. The Russian connection means there is an added risk of Russian government coercion of Kaspersky. It would be better to go with a U.S. product if you're the U.S. government. But what about regular home users? Should they still use Kaspersky antivirus? Yes, if you're not concerned about the Russians. No, if you are. So you're considering the context of your threat model. Another question to consider is, can we fully trust any of the antivirus companies? Let's forget about Kaspersky in this particular incident. Well, no, not fully. We should be using the zero trust model and distribute trust and risk whenever possible. Antivirus is bundled with security vulnerabilities plus It's to be expected that governments and other threat agents will be working to backdoor antivirus, even if we don't have specific proof of it. It makes sense for antivirus to be a target of major threat agents. The Russian government will be trying to use all software and hardware opportunities it can to backdoor everything to improve their cyber position. This is the reality of the new cyber cold war that we live in. And U.S. products are not safe either. It doesn't just have to be a Kaspersky Russian product. U.S. products aren't safe either. And don't think that this is something that only Russia or China or Iran are doing. Most governments want to backdoor popular software to leverage their cyber position. And to finish up on the story, currently there is no way to independently confirm if the DHS claims are accurate and the story does not even prove the involvement of Kaspersky. And here is a statement from Kaspersky. This is what they say. As a private company, Kaspersky Lab does not have inappropriate ties to any government, including Russia. And the only conclusion seems to be that Kaspersky Lab is caught in the middle of a geopolitical fight. Personally, I think for anyone who really cares about security, privacy, and anonymity, backdoors are a serious problem for us. Any tools that you use can be messed with by threat adversaries through legal methods, legal paths the DHS warns about, which is extremely worrying, and that's going to come our way in the West as well. It won't just be Russia, or through hacking and other methods. We will see the introduction of backdoors and weakening into the software and hardware that we use. Everything is a target, antivirus, operating systems, encryption, security services, applications, and even the hardware and firmware. Any AV service you can think of 
will be under attack from hackers, corporations, and nation states to backdoor them right now. This is Nathan from Station X signing off. Thanks.